Hello everyone, and welcome back to Skyopolis 5. In the last episode, we set up the little blaze spawner and killer behind me here, which is making the blazing blood, which is just a better form of lava, really, for cooking in the smeltery here. And then, at the end of the last episode, we started work towards getting an angel ring here, which should allow us flights. Grant, grants creative flight, which is exactly what we want. We've done all of these tasks, and we're just left with two. So we need 16 advanced aura essence. We've already made eight. And then six advanced spawner shards. Now, they both need lightning water for that. So I'm going to need three buckets in total. And if I remember how to make it, it's like this so i'm going to need 12 of these okay and then we need some sort of lightning summoner that'll be this one here unless no i think it did use it up i'm going to, I'm going to just make one just in case i can reuse it but i'm pretty sure it you use the whole thing up but let's go summon we're going to need a bucket okay so we're going to place it in here we're going to stay undercover and lightning, it does use up the wand. Okay, I'm going to pick that up. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put it in here, which is allowing us to get the advanced ore essence. We just need to get ourselves some more basic ore essence blocks. But I don't think we have very much ore essence left. We don't, but we can get it. So I've got loads of the basic mob essence from that thing, which I can probably just convert. Anyway, let's get the rest of the lava and make the activated spawner shards with them. Right, again, stay in cover. Like that. Oh, chapter completed, lightning. Okay. So now we've got the activated shards we need to finish that off. So we'll submit that. And now we're just left with the advanced ore essence. I can't remember off the top of my head how these were... Con Actually, no, I think I do know how these were converted. I think it's just in that machine I showed. Yeah, now I need 50 millibuckets of lightning water. So I need eight blocks of that times eight. So I need a stack of mob essence in total. Now I'm not sure if I'm going to have enough for that. I'm one, oh, I'm 11 short. So that should be fine. But if I start getting these in here and converting them, just double check that works. And that is using up, we may need to get some more lightning water then and there we go i did have to go and make three more buckets of the lightning but oh hold on i thought i was done and then i've got all of that which can get me the other eight i need and hopefully this will get done quite quickly and then i should be able to buy myself an angel ring and that i've got enough for that yes And then I'll be able to fly the power of flight. That is going to be such a good thing to have. The main reason I want it is to fly around the nether and just pick up loads of ancient debris. Without need of flying around my helicopter. Although I do like the helicopter. And then also, no fear of falling in the void. But then if I do die and I lose the angel ring, I'm kind of screwed. Check mark, angel ring, eight advanced loot box. Let's just let's just take all of our awards. So we've got a lot of coins. A book I'm not gonna read. Let's open these before we get into our ring. Paste container, paste container, paste container. Advanced mob essence. Maybe I should have opened my rewards to begin with. Uh, bronze shield. 
dense construction chunk and a steel axe. Oh, that's 11 hearts of damage. That's actually pretty strong. My forgotten axe is better. A charging station. That's going to be useful. Rock flint maddock. Terrible. Steel boots. Diamond chest. Iron. Great. Absorption hopper. Definitely going to come in handy. Steel helmet. Let's throw some of these bits away. I've got some lapis. The absorption hopper I'm definitely going to find some good use for. Copper scythe. What's that good for? Steel shovel, bronze paxel, steel hoe, copper wood maddock, paste containers, paste containers. Well, apart from the hopper, it's not great. Did I chuck away a totem? Did I have another one? I didn't. I can make... I wouldn't mind making another one, though. Okay, and now where does this go? It's going to go in a slot somewhere. Angel ring. And now I can fly! It kind of feels like cheating. Oh, I'll take all of this. Why not? They can go in my arrow turret. I need to get some way to pick up mobs, because I'd love to take these cows over to my base. But I'm actually going to make use of some of this resource we have hovering around over and I'm going to get loads of this amethyst. Right, I've got on a whole bunch of the amethyst then. Well, 36, it's some. I want to use it to make some glass for the blaze spawner. But I'm using my powers, my newfound powers to get that when I really should be going to collect the netherite that I need. Because I think I, I've only got a third of what I need to make all these strainers. So I'm just going to go harvest a whole bunch of that. And actually there's two things I want to check out. I want to check out this magma island here and then a bastion. So if we pick up this stuff, what actually is it? It's magma. But magma's just lava. I assume it it's hot. Oh. No, I can touch it just fine. <laughs> Bit weird. Oh, this is so weird. I am literally underneath magma. But I'm absolutely unscathed. Right, now let's head in here. Keep an eye out for the brutes, of course. I've got my gold boots on. So we're fine around these guys. But obviously, there's a whole horde. Those were the days. There's a whole horde of brutes right here. Yeah, everyone just run off the edge, please. If I can just get them to run into the void, that'd be great. But at least I can get most of them just to come out a bit. So I can get the chests. Well, he's running down the stairs. Right, there's one more here. Come on. I wonder if it's just going to be standard loot in these chests or if we're going to get anything special. If I block myself in so I don't get attacked... War pigs. So I've got soul speed, two golden boots. I'll take that. Netherite scrap. Some obsidian. Some more soul speed. A block of iron. We always need iron. Bane of illagers. Illagers take increased damage. Interesting. Right, well, I'm going to loot the rest of this and see if I can get anything good. Okay, well, I've made it down to the central chest here. I haven't looted any other chests since I cut. I don't know about taking all this gold. I don't know if I have that much of a need for gold. I know it's here if I need to come back for it. Oh yes, ancient debris. Loads of iron. I mean, that's not that much ancient debris really, is it? I can get some a lot easier. Just by going to the islands of it. Do I take the gold? I mean, they're all going to get mad at me if I take this gold. And we are back. I have gotten two stacks and five ancient debris. And I did realise if I stick it in here, I get an extra three nuggets. So I get an extra 33% on top of this. So they are all going in there. And I am doing... It is the ingot cast, I realised, wasn't it? But then that should be 
Some netherite scrap, yes. Okay. Got loads more ore essence. All right, I'll put my soul speed two boots on. Not that I ever really come in contact with soul sand. Right, so I've got so much ancient debris now, I should be able to make the strainers I need. So this is the strongest version of the strainer, which requires four netherite ingots per, four obsidian per, and then four forgotten nuggets per, as well as the obvious string. Okay, I have loads of this string mesh though. So 12 of those. And then I have, I made the obsidian, so 12 of those. And then the netherite scrap, I can make three so far. Now these are enchantable, aren't they? So I do need to enchant them. Because I can probably get unbreaking on it, which is going to be the best thing for it. Because I do not want to have to use so much netherite all the time. Has that already gone through it all? Wow, that melted quick. All right, so I've got all of those reinforced survivalist strainers on here now. And we should be getting in some gems, which is great. What am I going to do now? What was I saving up the gems for? I feel like it was something to do with pneumatic craft. I feel like I needed the strong enriching water to make some plastic. So I get that from the LPG and I get the LPG from crude oil. And I get crude oil from strong enriching water and seed oil. So yeah, that's right. Oh, and seed oil I can only get from pressing. I can't melt it in the smeltery. Oh dear. So that's what I was doing. So I guess let's start with that. We should probably flag it up on our thing. So crude oil, we're going to get on there. We need a refinery. Right, let's get going on that. So I wanted the gems so I could literally just get a... Crap! I did not mean to make 59 fucking buckets of it. Can I turn this back into gems? No, I can't. Oh my god, I've done that so many times with the iron, but luckily I can melt the iron back down into ingots. Oh, that's honestly just really annoyed me. Okay, that's got me, that should get me a few buckets of the strong enriching water. How about now? How long is that going to take? Oh, they are there. They're just taking their time. Oh my god, what's taking so long? Our chests aren't full, are they? They can't be. The buckets, I feel like our chests are full. Well, no, they're definitely not. Oh, it's because the buckets don't have a place in there. That makes sense. Um, I guess I'll need a chest. Because I just have this stuff going into the wall here, not into the main storage system. Right, there's my buckets. So if I leave this chest here, is it going to be fine? Yeah, everything seems to be going in there. So I can leave that chest there for when I do buckets like that. Right, so then that needs to go in there. Wrong bucket again. And then to make the plastic we need seed oil. That needs to be pressed into a basin. So I could do with getting another press or we'd probably just get a basin for that. Okay, that's doing it. So I guess I'll just let this run for a while and make some of the crude oil. Black gold, that is what I've made here. Black gold, but scoop up a bucket of oil. And I've still got some more going here. 
I'm going to use up a whole bucket of strong enriching water. Well, that should just be one more to go. And then, so what's the next step after that? So I've got the crude oil. Then that goes in the refinery, which I think is just, you need the output stacked on top of a controller. And depending on how many outputs you get, it depends on what you get here. So I could go for the full four outputs, or I could just go for this, because I'm pretty sure diesel. Diesel can go into lubricant, which can be used to make drill bits, which is kind of useful, I suppose. I'm going to need some sort of tank to hold all this liquid that I'm making. Let's look at all this strong, in this crude oil I have. Right, so refinery, that's what I need to make next, refinery controller. I need to make a reinforced stone slab. Right, I need a diamond for the refinery outputs. How are we getting diamonds? Nether enriching water. So it looks like we do have another step to get done first. But I did manage to make the controller, which I will stick here. Pump fluid into the refinery. How do I heat it? This machine requires or produces heat. Heat can be applied by placing a block that generates heat next to this machine. Ah. I wonder if the blazing stuff works because I don't know if that sets fire to the wood. Shall we test that out by risking burning everything down? Right, well no fires so far. How about is that going to do some heat? Oh yeah, look at that. Yeah, loads of heat there. Than if I put the crude oil in. I haven't got any. Wait, I need to stack refineries on top of each other? I thought I needed to stack refinery output. Oh, I think that is what I need to do. But yes, I need the diamonds. So I need nether enriching water. Is that in the nether exploration bit? No. What's that? That's a roading water gas. This comes from... Oh, it's an advanced crafting thing. A strong enriching water source block to create nether enriching water. I think we can do that. Let me just gather all the ingredients. Right, so I've got everything I need except for glowstone and cobalt and a tier 2 crafting table because I only have the tier 1. So we're just going to head to the nether quickly, get some cobalt and some glowstone. And then in the next episode, I think we'll be having to upgrade our crafting table. So there was a glowstone island nearby somewhere, wasn't there? Just head north, I think. Oh, I love being able to fly. That's gold. There's some glowstone. Is there a big chunk of it? Yes, there is. Right. Oh, have I got a silk touch on here? No. I'm surprised I didn't, that didn't turn into dust. Oh, there's another big chunk. Wait, how do I get dust then? Oh, I can craft it down. Okay. And then I need some cobalt. And I think that was... Scattered around everywhere as well. Just need to find a little island of it. Got to be one somewhere. That's glowstone. Not glowstone. Um, quartz. God. Got that then. There we go. Right next to a fortress. And an enderman. Raw cobalt. Does, do I need to cook this in the Tinker's Construct Smeltery or can this just be in a furnace? It can be in a blast furnace. But not a regular furnace. Okay, so that's all the cobalt there. 
So now we literally just need to upgrade this crafting table to the next tier. Because we do need the 5x5 five five advanced crafting table to make it. But that is all the ingredients we're going to need. I'm pretty sure I haven't missed anything. So if we come back in the next episode, we're going to start off by upgrading this crafting table. And I'll see you then for that. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.